everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone had a great Christmas and a very happy new year. I just wanted to touch base with you all, say hello, and let you know what I picked up for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. It took a long time for some of the things to get in, so I'm just now getting around to doing this video. And I want to let you know that this year I was able to get my hands on a Beautylish extra large lucky bag. So that will be my next video. So uh, be sure to stay tuned. I've never been able to get one of the large ones. So that'll be my next video. So I want to start off because I did Black Friday, Cyber Monday videos, but I never showed you what I actually thought was worth picking up. So I just wanted to start off. The first thing I picked up were the Too Faced Born This Way palettes. These were half price. I picked up the Sunset Stripped palette. This was the latest neutral palette that they did. And I think it's so pretty. It's just a cardboard packaging. But for some reason, I've been getting into neutral shades. And these are all kind of pinky browns. Very, very pretty. It does come with a mirror. And I just thought this was really gorgeous. It's been popping up at TJ Maxx and Marshalls here and there, but I like getting a fresh one. I know the things that come in over there are sometimes a couple years old. So anyways, I picked that up. And then the original one, which I wanted when it first came out. So these were $26. They're $52. This one, the original one, the Natural Nude Palette, is a lighter version. And I thought this was also very, very beautiful. I couldn't make up my mind. I've been eyeing this palette for a couple years, and I just finally decided to go ahead and get it. So let me show the both of them together in case you were thinking about them. So Natural Nude on top and then Sunset Stripped on bottom. Just really, really pretty neutral palettes. And I do appreciate the larger pans on the mattes. And then you have your smaller pans of the shimmers. And I just think they're gorgeous. And yeah, I just wanted to, I haven't tried any Too Faced in a really long time. I've got a big collection. Check my playlist if you want to see my huge Too Faced collection. But I thought that was a lot of fun and a great way to pick up, a great way to pick up some palettes that I never did pick up in the first place. So another thing that they had was one of my favorite shampoos is Fakai. And I just discovered them last summer when I was uh, washing chlorine out of my hair after going swimming. And their Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioner are both $28 a piece. And they had them on sale for only $15. So I was really excited about picking those up. Now, I just picked up two of the shampoos because I use that right after getting out of the pool. And it just, it gets the chlorine out of my hair and it conditions and softens it so well that I didn't feel like I needed the conditioner. It smells like coconuts. It's just really great. And I carry it with me always. Mm. And this is my favorite summer shampoo. So if you need something really hydrating, I really, really, it's not my number one. I rotate my shampoos. I've got about six different brands that I love and rotate. And this is my favorite summer. So can't recommend Fakai enough. It is a clean brand and absolutely love it. So got those. Next, I picked up the Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette. This was also half price. And I love Urban Decay Naked palettes. Urban Decay is my first favorite brand. And I've always, this packaging is so, so pretty. It was half price. I've been waiting for it to go half price to pick it up. The packaging is some of the most beautiful I've ever seen. And it's got the classic plastic packaging. It has the brush in it. And it has all your neutral shades with pops of blue. And I just think it is so pretty. And I know I'm going to love it. I still, my all-time favorite palettes, I still love the original Naked, the Naked Cherry, the Naked Honey. Um... I wear those still quite a lot, and I love the Smoky, too. They also had Naked 3 on sale, which I wish I'd picked up a fresh one, but I didn't. Mine's pretty well beat down. That's a light pink palette. I wish I'd, I got a, a new one, but I didn't. And also, when I went in store to Ulta, they had the new palette, the Robin Eisenberg collab. And I swatched this in store, and 
I thought the blues were all too similar for me to get it, but being half price for $26, I went ahead because I just love the Naked palette so much, and it's really, really gorgeous, and I think it'll be really pretty, and I, I don't care. I love Urban Decay Naked palettes, so I didn't pick up She-Hulk or any of the other things, but um, give me a Naked palette, and I'm good. I think it is so, so pretty, so love that. They also had my favorite mascara. If you watch my channel, you know, you've heard it a million times. So I won't get into it too much. But Benefit Roller Lash, and they had it on sale for $12. It's a $27 mascara. So I picked up three. That'll keep me going for the year. Absolutely love it. Can't say enough good things about it. I'm wearing it today as always. It's got a rubberized grip. It has a plastic curved bristle wand got a little blob on the end, but I love that. You can really just scoop on the product. It lengthens, it gives me the false lash effect that I like very quickly. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smear. And actually, I'll go swimming with it, and I might get a little bit of raccoon eyes, but it's actually pretty water resistant, and I can't say enough good things. I'm, I've tried a lot of mascaras. I don't know why I keep trying mascaras. I always go back to Roller Lash. So that's one thing for 2023 is if I have a favorite, I'm not going to keep trying new stuff. I'm really kind of going on a low buy, not a no buy because I still love makeup, but I don't need anything. I've got things I love. I'm good. So anyways, I picked up three of my Benefit Roller Lashes. Also, they had the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bombs on sale for, uh, it was either 10 or $12. Let me check. $10. So these are $21. And I picked up two of the cream gloss bombs. I got Fenty Glow and I got Cookie Jar. And I really like these. These were on sale for 10 bucks. And the Fenty Glow is just the universal rose nude. Really, really pretty. And Cookie Jar is more of a brown. But there's your cream Fenty Glow. Everybody knows and loves these. And cookie jar is a really pretty brown. Love that. So I couldn't pass up for $10. And I also, now this wasn't on sale, but the new Fenty um, Gloss Bomb Ice, the cooling peppermint, it's got a light blue sheer tint, which totally goes clear on as uh, very cooling. I love that. Uh, it wasn't on sale, but um, those are really, really good. Also, I picked up the Fresh Sugar Lip Masks. These are my favorite. I love them better than the Laneige. Um, so good. And they have my favorite watermelon and coconut. And I thought I would try a passion fruit because they had a gift with purchase if you spent $35. These were on sale for $12 each. Or either I had a coupon that got them down to $12. But these are the most true to fruit I think they have a much better uh, scent and feel than Laneige. Mm, true watermelon. Absolutely love that. That is my favorite. And the coconut. Absolutely love that. This is my number one favorite. So good. Mm, it's intoxicating. It smells just like a coconut snow cone. And then passion fruit. Let's check this out. I couldn't make up my mind which one I want to try. Okay, I can barely smell anything at all. So I would recommend trying one of the other ones. I, I get no scent, um, but anyways, I'll use it. I'm sure it's gonna be really, really nice. But they had a gift with purchase with that, and it's a nice little fresh canvas bag with a loop, and it had some things in it they I wanted to try. You get a fresh, Sugar Lip Treatment. I already know I like this. It's just their stick balm. And it had a soy face cleanser. I don't care for that, but that's fine. Let's see, where is it? Oh, it's tiny. Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. Okay, I've been wanting to try that. That's one of the main reasons I wanted to go ahead and purchase another one to get this. And it's got a Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. So, and I like all their rose products. So anyways, that was a nice little gift with purchase for that. Um, what else did I get? Um, I got a the Flower Bomb Dew. 
the big, I thought it was all the Flower Bomb Dews, the big 3.4 ounce bottle, which is normally $168, was on sale for $100.68. I couldn't pass it up. That is such a great deal on Flower Bomb. I really, really love it so much. It was like just a great, great deal. And last year they had Flower Bomb Midnight on sale. So I don't know if that's an annual thing, a different Flower Bomb on sale, but I did pick that up. And that had a $90 gift with purchase bag. So because I bought that perfume, I was able, and I spent $100, they had a Sapphire sample bag with $100 purchase. And this has a lot of great samples in it. It had some perfumes I wanted to try. It had a lot of just great, there's some Anastasia Beverly Hills. There's some keys. There's some hair stuff, Tom Ford Noir. So I was really excited to get that. Next, I picked up a Dr. Brandt Needles No More baggage. It's supposed to be an eye depuff cream. And I purchased this on recommendation. It's an Allure Best of Beauty winner. I've tried it a couple times and I'm still not getting the hype. This is $42 and you it's kind of a thick paste. You kind of have to get a little bit, warm it between your fingers and then kind of pat it on. It's supposed to deflate any bags that you might have, but I found it to really kind of tug and I'm, I'm not so crazy about it, but I mean, if it's Allure Best of Beauty winner, it's got to be me. So I'm going to keep trying it and um, I'll have to get back to you. But so far, I much prefer the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. That feels great, goes on smooth and does the job. But I'm going to keep working with this and, and try to figure out what I'm doing wrong. I, I need to probably just use less. Uh, but that is, I mean, it's an Allure Beauty winner. So it's got to be me, right? Okay, so I picked that up. I also picked up one of my uh, Sally Hansen wax strips. I really like this for facial uh, wax removal. It's great. I don't even, I mean, <laughs> I just I just wash my face and you just get the wax strip and you just rub it in your hand and put it and I'll just do it. I don't even put on the desensitizer anymore. I'm hardcore, but I've been using this for years and it's only like six bucks. It gives you some wax strips. You can use it anywhere face bikini I can't I just I just do it on my face but I really love that picked them up because it was on sale and it got me to a, a point level to get another free gift I also picked up I'm really loving these these are the Maybelline vinyl ink and you've got to shake it's a dupe for the Urban Decay new vice liquid lipstick this is in the shade golden but I've bought almost all of the nude shades they came out with a new nude line uh, probably in November, I picked them all up and even some of the berries and the reds, but you shake it up and it's a liquid, but it's a, it smells refreshing, kind of fruity, but you put it on and it's a shiny and it's, it's slightly tacky, but not uncomfortable. And it stays on really well through eating and drinking. And I really do like it a lot. So I've been looking for something to replace, uh, like what I'm wearing today, my Revlon Ultimate Color Stay. Uh, liquid lipstick, which they've discontinued. That's okay. I've got backup forever, but um, I really do like these Maybelline vinyl, which being a drugstore too, I'm surprised that I like these so much, but these are awesome. So I picked up one of those and let's see. Then I picked up a Beauty Blender, Blender Solid Charcoal Cleanser. This is my favorite thing to clean my brushes with. I actually just cleaned my uh, my brushes yesterday. This is the large one. I've never bought this, the big one because it's, it's so expensive, really. It comes with a little heart-shaped mat and drain holes. And this is, I like the way it smells. This is really good. And they have the, un, they have the unscented as well. But I do like the charcoal one. I did my unscented today, but it comes in a nice plastic Okay, so when you're finished, you can put your cleanser in there and keep it nice and fresh and dry. But I picked that up and it was expensive. I got it for, this is $45. I got it for $31.50 and I had a coupon that got it for $28.42. So um, that's almost $20 off. And look at how nice your brushes come out. I just did these yesterday. So good. 
I mean, nice and clean, warm water, and that's how I care for my brushes. And they are just, they're clean, they're conditioned, they're soft, and I just love it. So highly recommend the Beauty Blender Blender Cle Cleanser Charcoal Solid. Okay, next, um, so that got me to get another free gift. So I got the 25 piece amethyst bag. And that has more samples as well. I can see a hemp's in there, CeraVe. Um, there's some living proof in there. All kinds of perfumes. It's got a Mugler Alien in it. Comes with a gift bag. There's all these perfumes. And you know me, I really like my samples. So a lot of times there's a, let's see, there's a La Roche Pose in there. Um, there's a Bad Gal Bang Mascara. So a lot of times if there's something I wanna try, I'll leave it in my cart until uh, they offer a nice sample bag because they do this on the regular. And then I can get my stuff, get my discount, use my coupons, use my Rakuten and get my sample bag. I mean, I am a professional shopper when it comes to stacking the deals because I stack, 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 stack. And that's how I do it. That's how I roll. So if you like that, my channel is all about deals because... I'm not buying it if I can't get a deal, right? Okay, so let's see what else I got. Um, uh, let's see, that might be everything. Oh, I picked up the Namat Vanilla Musk Fragrance Oil. This is only a third of an ounce. It's super tiny. I got it, it was uh, $20. I got it on sale for $15.74, threw down a coupon, got it for $14.19, and it's okay. Um, first, it was really hard to get open. I finally got it open, but it smells, to, it's supposed to be a vanilla musk and it's got jojoba oil in it, but it straight up smells like vanilla extract to me. I'm actually wearing it today. I like it. Uh, I will not repurchase. It's nice, but I like the Kayali vanillas better. But yeah, this just smells like straight up vanilla extract cooking cooking stuff. I mean, it's fine. Whatever. Okay. Next, I got, um, I picked this up. This is the uh, Kenra Anti-Humidity Spray number five. This was $19.99. Kenra was on sale. It was like $13.99 and I got another discount on it. So I got this cheap. I just want to try it. It's just super humid here in Arkansas and I like Kenra products. So I want to check that out. So that got me to a Black Friday gift which on Black Friday, they had a, here it is. This has got a full-size EcoTools brush in it, a full powder brush, uh, Cinderella, you would like this. And it had, it's got some Fakai samples in it, where Fakai is one of my favorite brands. I wanted the Fakai samples. It's also got uh, a primer spray, a full-size ultra primer spray. Yeah, this was some good stuff. Fully charged. Uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, curl control. Anyways, nice sample bag here for Black Friday. So, yeah. So, anyways, got that deal. Okay, so also when I got that uh, Victor Roth Flower Bomb, they had a free luxury throw or robe with 65 fragrance purchase. So... They were out of the robes, but I got the navy plush throw, so that's nice. I thought I could throw it in the car or whatever, but that was free with the flower bomb as well. So you can see how the gifts really stack up during Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Let's see, I think that might do it for Ulta. Yeah, so next, um, you know I love Dossier, and they had their Black Friday deal. And they were doing, um, let's see, 30% off plus free shipping. So, and then I had a coupon. So I was able to get five bottles for $81.60. So I picked up Floriental Marshmallow, which is my number one all-time favorite. It is the dupe for Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Absolutely love this. Check out my playlist if you want to see a video on it. So good. Then I also picked up the Ambery Cherry, which is the dupe for Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Absolutely love this. So good. Again, check my playlist for a video on it. 
I picked up Floral Honeysuckle. This is a this is a dupe for Gucci Bloom, and I have Gucci Bloom, and this is so good. It is so great for spring and summer. Love that. If you like Gucci Bloom, pick that up. Also, Woody Chestnut, um, the dupe for Maison Majella by The Far Place. It is a spot on dupe. Again, check my playlist for the video on that. So good. And last but not least, I picked up Tom Ford's the dupe for uh, Neroli Portofino. This is um, Dossier Citrus Neroli. So good. It is a very great, it's summery, it's citrusy, lemon. Ugh, so fresh. So, oh God, I love it. Oh, that's so good. I can't recommend this one enough. This is great for summer. Love that. But it does smell just like the Tom Ford. I got a Tom Ford sampler set, so that's how I'm checking them out. So anyways, what else did I get? Okay, so I went over the Fakai, Too Faced, Urban Decay, Fenty, Benefit. Okay, um, Refer brushes I've never tried before. So they're great. As you can see, these are all my Sonia G and Wayne Goss brushes. Sonia G are my favorite. You can see I've got like the Sky Eye set. I've got her Red Handled Pro set. I love them. And then Wayne, my Wayne Goss brushes, I really, really like them. They just have a black plastic handle. But it looks like Wayne's getting out of the brush. He's not hardly selling brushes anymore. It's all makeup now, which is fine. Um, but the Sonia G's are my favorite, but they're like $35 a brush. So, or, you know, you can buy a set for $150, $160, a set of five. So, Refer, they had... They're, these are also uh, made in Japan. They are also Saikoto. Um, they're, they're Japanese brushes. I mean, they are literally, they even have the same wrappers. You buy Sonia G's, they come in the exact same sleeves. So anyways, they had all of their eye brushes. They have 18 brushes. This is so crazy. They had them for $10 a piece. This is 18 brushes for $180, and I love my Sonia G so much, but I mean, if I can get a Psychoto goat hair brush for $10, and look at this one, I love I love these fat ones, so you good. promised to leave a review on them, you can get them for half price. So I was like, yeah, I'll do that, because I've got all the other ones to compare them to, and I, when I got these, I was thrilled, but for $10, I mean, these are excellent, excellent quality brushes. And I really like the fat ones here. Um, the 35, 34, 36, these ones, oh my God, those are so nice. I love those. So, and what I like too is I do like the fat handles. The, the original Sonia G brushes came out and they had the fat handles. Now they're all tapers. They don't make these anymore. But these remind me of the original red-handled Sonia G brushes the most. So I was beyond thrilled when I got these. I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe it. And I've got to go leave my review on that. What do they call it? The concept store. That's what it was. So uh, with the concept store, you could buy these on half price. And I'm just like, I'm blown away. I mean, uh, there was a couple of years ago that I got a thing that, that they would send you a free brush or whatever. But I thought it was... Um, a scam or something so I never did do it but uh, refer they're in Canada but they are Japanese brushes and this is totally legit so yeah can't believe it that was a uh, my favorite Black Friday thing actually so that was really good um what else did I get uh Pat McGrath oh my god Pat McGrath so Auntie Pat was having uh Black Friday and Cyber, Cyber Monday sale and if you spent uh, $50 or more, you got 30% off. If you spent $150 or more, you got 35% off. If you spent $250 or more, you got 40% off plus a free Celestial Odyssey Lux Quad. And that's a $54 value. So I there were some palettes that I didn't get because I'm not going to pay $128 for her palettes. I'm just not. And... But I love them. I have almost all of them except for the original Divine Rose. So when she came out with that, then I went over to Rakuten. And Rakuten had 10% off. So that's a total of 50% off Pat McGrath. It was sick. So anyways, uh, did some damage over at Pat McGrath. 
let me show you what I got. I was so excited because I love Pat McGrath. It's like my favorite luxury brand. The palettes are, I love the motherships. I like the black lacquer packaging. They're heavy. I absolutely love her stuff, but I'm just not gonna pay that kind of money for it anymore when I've got like eight of them. So um, I couldn't justify, but let me show you what I got. So exciting. Um, yeah. Okay. So I got the last two motherships that, you know, I really wanted them, but again, so this is Mothership 9. This is Utopian Dream. And again, $128, but with my discount of like, what was it? It was something sickening. I got it written down here, hang on. Okay, with 40% discount, you get $51.20 off. So I got this for $76.80. And then Rakuten on top of that. So that's another $7.60. So it's basically I got them for $70, which is $60 off. I mean, hell yeah. So here is Utopian Dream Mothership 9. And I always wanted it, but I didn't want to buy it just for the special shades. And it does look similar to uh, Divine Rose 2. But... I'm glad I got it. It's pretty. I'll be glad when she's over the pinky golds and starts doing something else. And her new Star Wars palette, in case you didn't know, is just repackaged uh, Mothership Midnight Sun, which you can buy on clearance for, you know. But anyways, that's Mothership 9, Utopian Dream. And I'm glad that I got it on such a discount. I'm so excited about it. It's so pretty. I just didn't want to buy it for that, for the special shades. Now, I also picked up Mothership 10, her latest one, Moonlit Seduction. So she needs to change her boxes too. I mean, it's getting a little tired with the girl. But anyway, so this is Moonlight Seduction. Now the thing about this one, I got it for the same deal. It doesn't have any special shades in it. So that's why I wasn't really interested in it. But I've seen a lot of videos on it and they're kind of, this is more similar to Divine Rose 1, which I don't have. But there's a lot of really pretty glimmery metallic shades in it. And this is more like a grungy neutral eye. And I'm all about that. And I just thought it was pretty. And for the sale price, I couldn't pass it up. So anyways, yeah, that is Moonlit Seduction. And I'm happy to have it. And I just saw so many great videos on it. I was like, you know what? I love Pat McGrath. I can take out a Pat McGrath palette and I don't know what I'll come up with, but it always looks good and it always looks great and she's my favorite. So yeah, I was, I was pretty excited to get that. Then I thought it would be fun. I picked up, I was looking at, I thought I, I'm gonna get a blush because I've got one of her highlighters from a couple years ago, the one that looks like a hockey puck, but I don't have any of her blushes. So I picked up this cheek palette. This is in Nude Venus, and it is so pretty. I love that. I love these shades. Look at that. So Nude Venus, um, Divine Blush and Glow Cheek Palette. It was $62. I got $24.80, so this was $37.20. So... But all of the original prices, $62, 128 $128, got me over to get the threshold to get the free Lux Quad. So, yay! Here is my free Lux Quad, which is the $54 value. And it's real pretty. It's just some, uh, you got a gold and you've got a brown shimmer and you've got a red-brown matte, and then you've got a light champagne shimmer. But that is really, really pretty. So I like that, and I got that for free. So I got all of that for $188. So that's outstanding shopping right there. <laughs> so scored with Antique Pat. I'm not gonna buy anything anymore at all unless it's Black Friday. There's just no reason because the deals are just so good. They just make you feel stupid 
for buying any other time of year. So, and I don't need anything anymore. So I'm just going to enjoy my collection. I know a lot of people are, are getting to be the same way because the makeup that comes out is, is just crappier and crappier. And the stuff we had before is better. So you might as well just enjoy your collection and quit buying stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that was my Auntie Pat. Now, oh God, I, this is going to be a long ass video. I'm going to have to edit this shit down for sure. Um, ColourPop, oh my God. They were having stupid, stupid sales. So what they were doing is they were having, now this is, uh, let me find my notes on this deal. Because their their sale was insane. Now that um, BH Cosmetics is done, they, ColourPop is, and LA Girl changed their formula. ColourPop is my new favorite inexpensive uh eyeshadow so they were having the holiday steel which is a hundred and five dollar mega palette and brush roll set for forty dollars so this was just stupidity so i'm not really into giant palettes but i've always thought these palettes were pretty but i never did buy them but i had i couldn't i couldn't for 40 bucks look at this so this is smoke and roses and what i liked about this is that this is all like 80s rock and roll the, all the shades are named for 80s rock and roll and these are some really really pretty pink shades kind of a rubberized textured cover but look at this this is just gorgeous and this is like every shade of pink you can imagine and I just thought it was so, so beautiful. I couldn't pass that up. So, I mean, normally I think this palette is $46. I can't remember, but I just like the names of the shades. Uh, yeah, Love Hurts, Heartbreaker, Angel Eyes, Spun Around, Metalhead, Wild Side, Fool In, yeah, Kickstart, that's me, 80, 80s rock and roll metal. So pretty, but you also got the coordinating brush roll. So here's your brush roll. And it says color pop, and it's kind of like vegan leather. But look at this. This is so crazy. You get all these brushes and they've got pink handles. They're so pretty. And they're fat handles. I like fat handles, not tapered. And this is just outrageous. And you've got all, all the eye brushes. I love all the eye brushes because I really like having a spoolie. I like these for a liner. I like these for putting the, the, um, packing my Cleona shadows on there. And then you've got all your other eye brushes and then you have your face brushes. And I was like, $40. I was like, hell yeah. I was stoked about this. And I was so stoked about it that I went back and bought another one because I couldn't, I couldn't help myself because I was just unhinged. And um, so I got It's a Mood. And this is really, really pretty. And again with the textured but I thought this was so so pretty you've got all of these purples all of these greens you still have got some peaches and some berries and some neutral shades and some darks and I just love this so gorgeous I mean I could do without this pressed glitter over here but um, that's fine but just gorgeous i really loved it's a mood and it kind of they've got their new one out the aurora one it looks pretty good but i mean they've got me trained well okay all of these makeup companies have got jackie green trained real well i'm not buying till i can get something for free or a deal i'm just not going to buy anything anymore there's there's no reason to pay full price for anything unless you just really have to have it. Now this brush set that came with this one 
is really pretty as well. This is all white handles. So pretty. This is kind of in a buff container. But look at that. It's kind of got like a rose gold and white bristles. And man. And I've never bought a ColourPop Mega Palette before. So that's good. Worked out. But I'm beyond obsessed with the ColourPop deals. They were having different deals every day. And so these Mega Palettes. I can't remember, maybe it was the Cyber Monday deal. It was a, you know, like a one day only deal. But then they came out with another day. They had all the Super Shocks for $2. So they had sets of nine that are normally $54 and that were $18. So I thought they would be together but they're all kind of packed two at a time. So I got this whole freaking huge box of Super Shocks. So what I got was there was a neutral set of nine. Then there was another one that was all colorful shades. But anyway, so I've got 27 Super Shocks for $54. So pretty. Just different. Yeah, what was it? It was colors, neutrals. And it might have been pinks and berries, I'm not sure. But anyways, they just they didn't they just packed them two together. These are all super shocks. This one was what the one that was taking me forever to get. I thought I would never get it. it this was the last box to come in. So, anyways, you kind of get the idea. I'll put them on the screen how they were selling them. I can't remember the names of them, but they all came in individually. So, anyways, that was all my color pop. So I made out like a bandit on that deal. Um, I'm set for life here. What else did I get? Old Navy. I'm, I'm throwing some some clothes in here. Old, and this was a Cyber Monday deal because um, I went into Old Navy and thought I could get this deal in store, and I couldn't. Um, their Rockstar skinny jeans are my favorite jeans. I wear them every day. I wear the black ones to work. I also have colored ones that I wear to work, but they're dressy enough, so... They're my favorite pants. Actually, I'm wearing some today, just regular blue jeans, but I have them in all the colors. It's always been my favorite, but they were having the Rockstar Skinnies half price online. And like, by the time I found out about it, a lot of them had sold out, so I couldn't get any colors. All I was able to do was get my black ones for work, but that's fine. Next year I'll be on it and I'll be ready and I'll be waiting. But anyways, I was able to get three of these and these are $40 a piece, so I got them for 20 bucks a piece, and then free shipping and stuff. So anyways, th th these are my favorite pants from Old Navy, so that's what they had going on, so that was a good deal. Uh, I went over to Walmart in store to see what they were doing, and they had this was like $80. This was a Black Friday deal. They had it for $29, a content creator studio kit. I guess it's got a big ring light. And, uh, well, you know me, I'm always looking fuzzy and I don't have good lighting and I'm filming on an iPhone and, you know, I'm a low budget type of gal. But anyways, they had this on Black Friday for $29 and I thought, well, maybe y'all might like it. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, uh, I, I picked that up over at Walmart in store. I went running around the stores and couldn't really find anything that I wanted. All the deals were better online. Uh, let's see what else I got. Oh, I did go into Skechers because Skechers are my favorite shoes. And um, they're also, they were started in Manhattan Beach and that's where I used to live in California. So I'm so glad to see the company has grown so well and they're, they're my favorite shoes. But anyways, uh, so they have got, now this isn't just Black Friday, but when I went in there looking for a Black Friday deal, they have a clearance rack that they always have going on. So you can go into your local Skechers store if you have one, and all their clearance shoes are like $49. So I treated myself. These are so cute. I got these. I don't care, I'll wear them to work with my brown skinny pants or pink pants or whatever. But are they? Are these not the cutest? They're like, they're hiking boots, but they're they're very comfortable and they have baby pink 
interiors and accents and like even on the bottoms I love these these are so cute and they were $49 and they're so comfortable so cushy that's the thing I got bad feet okay and Skechers are the only shoes that I can wear that my feet don't hurt so I got those and And I got these. These are so cute, too. These are camo style. I wear, I like camouflage stuff. I wear uh, olive green a lot. So these are olive green and brown and cream. And I've already worn these a couple times, so they're not pristine. Because I couldn't wait to, to show y'all. But I got these for $49, too. And I absolutely love them. And they're so comfortable. But they're just really gorgeous. If you're into camouflage, I mean, I live out in the country, y'all. Um, we need boots. Uh, you know, there's no, uh, there's no stilettos around here, girl. But <laughs> anyways, um, and then for work, I got these, the, just the black ones, but these are really good too. These actually have Goodyear rubber soles and these are great for work with my Rockstar skinnies. But anyways, these keep my feet happy all day. And I absolutely love Skechers work shoes. These are just these are just great. Love them. Forty nine bucks. Um, and last, I got one more pair of boots. These are for winter. They're kind of heavy duty. So like if it's snowing or whatever, these are really heavy duty, rugged, and they're brown. Um, super cute. They've got red accents. I love that. They're kind of like Louboutins for the country. <laughs> But anyways, here's my red bottoms. But anyways, yeah, so, okay. So, that, I believe, is all I got for, all I got, I got a lot. Well, Black Friday and Cyber Monday is my Christmas. Um, so these are basically my Christmas presents to myself because my birthday is on Black Friday. It's the Thursday before Black Friday, and that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. But these are all my Christmas presents to myself. So let me make sure. I think that's it. So I just save up all this stuff. Anything I buy Black Friday, Cyber Monday goes underneath my Christmas tree. And then I open them and I pretend like I've never seen it before. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Okay, so we got the, the Pat McGrath, the Fakai, the Too Faced, Urban Decay, Fenty, Benefit, ColourPop. Oh, it was the Sunset Haze 9-piece set. Neutral Territory 9-piece set and Crazy for Color 9-piece set. Yeah, so it was pinks and berries, neutral browns, and then the colors. Yeah. Okay, then all the samplers. Um, yeah, the Fresh, the Beauty Blender, Old Navy, Victor Rolf, Kenra, Namat, Dossier, and Skechers. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. That is going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I know it was kind of long-winded. I haven't seen y'all in a while. But anyways, uh, my name is Jackie. Please like, subscribe, leave me a message. Let me know what you got for Christmas or if you got it for Black Friday or Cyber Monday. And um, check my playlist for more related content. There's not been anything going on at TJ Maxx because they're on clearance right now. It was great when I was doing the videos in December, but all that's gone now and it's back to nothingness. So, um, and then people touching everything and breaking everything, so. Um, I do have kind of a little bit, a few things that I bought to show you, but I'm going to save it up till I've got more. And, uh, yeah, so next I will see you for my, uh, Beautylish Lucky Bag XL unboxing, because that's the first time I've ever been able to get one. I hope it's not a, bought, a bunch of junk. I'm afraid it might be, but, uh, we'll get to that when we get it, which should be in the next couple days, hopefully, so... Yeah, okay, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great week, y'all. Bye-bye.